the people who suffered most in the Battle of the Atlantic were those poor unfortunate wretches in the freighters. They were carrying vital supplies from America, mostly across to Britain. And uh, the German submarines were a, a very big vessel. They had the ability to go right across North Atlantic t to the east coast of America. And th there's a popular misconception nowadays that, uh, well, we, we know the modern submarine it goes down and it stays there for as long as it wants, nine months or a year or whatever, because it's propelled by nuclear power, uh, which converts all the requirements of uh, fresh air, electricity and every other thing. But the uh, World War II submarine, uh, it was a ship. It was a surface vessel that had the ability to go under when it must so that it could raise its periscope and then sink the, the target that it was after. And that's where so many of these unfortunate people in the merchant marine, they were just downed over and over and over. Well, it, it was our function to be the eyes and work in liaison with the Royal Navy so that they knew exactly where everyone was placed I recall uh, seeing a, uh, a British submarine in uh, a convoy that we were escorting and, as I mentioned, the submarine was a surface ship and the waves were enormous things. They must have been about 20 metres, great troughs and here's these poor devils in this little submarine on the surface and this being thrown down, bashed, thrown down, bashed. <laughs> And try, trying to make headway <laughs> amongst uh, this uh, th throng of small supply ships with the the Royal Navy escorting <laughs> round about. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be in a submarine under those circumstances.